Folks, how we doing? Welcome to Good Works Tractors. It's a busy day out here in the middle of nowhere. We got the chainsaws going on. A lot of dead trees that are up by the power lines by the road. A lot of flooding went on around here um, a couple of years ago. We had a really, really high water table and I think that killed off a lot of trees. So we're having those taken down right now by the road, by the power lines, not something I'm comfortable with. So we're having the pros handle that. But we've got work to do. We're using the Summit tractor today, hooked up the four foot disc behind it. We showed you that roto rake that we used. Not really the right application for this road project that we're doing, but it was a safe area to test it on. I knew I wasn't gonna screw anything up too bad because I could come back through, take all this dirt out anyway. So that's what we did today. We got that, that sod off of there, I suppose, with the roto rake. Came back with the disc really easy. I've used um, a tiller several times to, to kind of work up this soil and it makes it so easy to remove and then easy to reuse somewhere else later on. A lot of valuable, it's a valuable resource I guess, you know, so I have other things I can do with this soil here later on. And so we're going to take you through that now and show you just how this disc perform on the Summit tractor as well. The first big project going on with it, I think you're going to enjoy it. And RimGuard is our new channel sponsor, and we are so happy to have them on board because they align with our goals as well of preaching tractor safety, and that's what they're all about. And RimGuard is a liquid ballast solution. It goes right inside your tires. It's a beet juice byproduct, all right? And so not only is it gonna add physical pounds, hundreds of pounds of weight to the backside of your tractor that are gonna aid in traction or power to the ground, but they're also gonna stabilize your tractor, make it safer to operate and they're going to optimize the loader performance by keeping those rear wheels planted lifting up as much weight as you possibly can with that front end loader when you need it we'll put a link down below to rimguard's website they have a fantastic dealer locator so they have over a thousand dealers nationwide you can plug in your zip code right on their website they'll tell you where the closest dealer is you can take your tractor in to have the tires loaded up or oftentimes they have mobile techs that can come to you as well and get this summit tractors come with rimguard and the rear tires right out of the factory because they know the importance of getting right to work All right, so again, like I've talked about before, I'm doing this driveway a little bit different than I've done uh, the other one, out of the other property. And so we started out at the road here, just had to put some more stone down so we could have that second drive for the trucks and the trailers to go back to the barn. I didn't put any road fabric down there, and I am going to do that on the rest of this area that we're disking up right now. And I think one of the other benefits, I probably didn't explain that well, is that you don't need to dig down as far right because you're going to lay fabric down so the stone is not going to sink down in anything if there is extra topsoil um, it's again going to help with the weeds not coming through but i'm basically just going to probably till out or uh, dig out mm, somewhere in the three to four inch range of of dirt here which is plenty there's more topsoil than that here that i could dig out if i wanted to but we're going to build this up so it's just slightly slightly above grade right um, the idea is to keep the water from pooling up on the driveway you want it to be running off and I think I may experiment with some sections of pretty much flat drive as well. That way, well, part of this is on a slope and it may be hard to tell in the video, but part of this drive is on a slope sideways, right? Left to right on the drive. And if I can get that water to maybe run off, just kind of sheet across it, I don't know. That may work out, it may not. May have to end up putting in a, a ditch or a culvert of some kind there anyways, or who knows? This is just a secondary drive. It may turn out to not be a big deal at all. Uh, but time will tell. I got the tools to fix it if I need to. But that's kind of the approach I'm taking this time around. So overall, I'd say that this tractor handled the four foot disc really well. Um, there are times I think when probably having all that weight, we showed you a previous video, uh, the 3025V and using a five shank all purpose plow and how that bogged it down and installed the tractor out. And you know, you've got a 25 horsepower tractor. And so the more machine weight that you have on there, it's more effort required by that engine. And so if you're putting all of the, um, the load on it as well on the three-point hitch with a disc or a, a ground engaging attachment, you're gonna find yourself in situations where it could potentially bog it down. And so I didn't really run into that a whole lot in, in this scenario. Uh, there were a few times when it started to strain the engine a little bit and it's gonna do that with anything. And that's just a sign to listen to on your tractor. But overall, this was a good match, I think, on the size. And that's one of the cool things that Summit has and not a lot of the other brands have at least a, an easy to read 
concise, compiled sheet, and that's what Summit has, is a list of the attachments, the size of attachments that'll work that are compatible with their tractors. And so you're gonna see that for the loader and the three-point hitch and, and your, your brush hogs and your tillers and your grapples and, and this and that and the other thing, you know? Everything you wanna know that might be compatible with it's gonna be right on there in an easy to reach sheet. Now that doesn't mean we're not gonna push this tractor to the limits at times, you know? We're probably gonna end up using, or at least experimenting with attachments that are maybe too large technically for it and just see how it does, if it can handle those or if it's better just to, to stay with what the recommendations are, which is probably a smart thing. But we did have this disc in the most aggressive angle, all right, the, you know, the, the, the steepest pitch front and back uh, on those gangs and did a couple passes, right? And these results are really, really good. In fact, I, I wish the field that I was disking in the back for my food plots looked this good because this is, this is ready, to, ready to plant in right now if I wanted to. And so compared to using the tiller on the drive, this disc is a lot faster because you can go a lot quicker. Um, it's going a little bit deeper as well. So it's just, it's just a better suited tool for this kind of application, in my opinion. Alrighty folks, so there you go. There's a look at the Summit TX25 with the four foot disc on the back. Worked really well, no complaints on my end. This is ready to have this dirt pulled out and then uh, hauled away and then I think put our fabric down put our stone down, level it out, and have this project done, at least for now. <laughs> so again, Summit is a brand that we are putting to work here, all right? So we're gonna be doing all sorts of stuff with it. It's not the only tractor that we're gonna feature on our channel anymore, but we are definitely gonna integrate this on a regular basis too, so you guys can kind of get more familiar with it, see how it performs, the good, the bad, the ugly, whatever there is to tell about it. We're gonna let you know we wanna be fair about everything we do, and we're gonna mix in the other tractors, the other tools, that kind of thing as well. But if you want to see more about this Summit tractor, I'd encourage you to hit that subscribe button down below to tag along. And if you're looking for a tool for your tractor, something for the three-point hitch or the front end loader, we sell and ship tractor attachments all over the country. Check out goodworkstractors.com. I know a lot of you have a lot of questions about the Summit tractors, a brand new tractor brand that's on the market coming nationwide very soon. And if you want to get all of your questions answered, Summit Tractors has a contact us form right on there. You can submit your questions on there. You know, unfortunately, I'm not the guy that knows everything in and out of Summit Tractors, but those guys over there are super excited to help you out, answer any question you have. So we'll put a link down below to their contact us page. I want to thank you for taking time out of your day to stop by and until next time, stay safe. We'll see you soon.